Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sweet Tips, and what we're gonna do in this video is make an attempt to get the precious metals out of the ash that I burnt in the previous video. Now, I intended to have this series completed by the weekend, but of course something always comes along and uh, I got all backed up and had to delay the video until today. Today is Sunday. And uh, I'm going to try to get the uh, extraction completed today. And then we'll proceed from there. We're going to start doing that for you right now. Here's our ash. And what I need to do is run that through a strainer to get the big particles broken up. And any foreign material sifted out. But before that happens before I do that I want to uh, transfer the contents of this I need this big beaker so I'm going to transfer this into here Extraction right here. I'm going to set this off to the side and let it settle out. And then we'll get the liquid off of there because it's got precious metals in it. I've rinsed the beaker out, got it dry. I'm going to put a metal strainer. This is a wire uh, mesh screen strainer. And then what I'm going to do is start spooning in the ash material out of this container in there and then we'll just press it through the strainer and get it all nice and broken up into real fine particles. I thought I seen a little piece of metal over here. It's like a little piece of aluminum there, so I picked that out and got rid of it. But this strainer will uh, strain out any large pieces of chunks of aluminum that may have gotten in with the ash, so it doesn't get down into the beaker. Aluminum will cause problems when we go to uh, try to get this metal out of this ash. These are the two little chunks of aluminum that I picked out. Don't want them in there, so I picked them out of there. And I uh, scraped the residual stuff that was in those pans into the ash. And I got a lot of scale off of the uh, pans. And I think that's what this is, just a bunch of scale. And you can see there's some broken glass in there. Just stuff we don't want going into the uh, into the batch here that might cause problems. Piece of glass, piece of coining ware. So we've got everything now down into the bottom of our beaker here, and we'll go from here. I swept the contents of the pan into the strainer, so it's nice and clean down here. We'll just set this off to the side. And I do some experiments with seeing about getting this uh, ash processed for the metals. I'm going to put a, a tablespoon of uh, this material in this tall one liter beaker here. And then we'll set this back out of the way.
for this part of the experiment, I chose to use a smaller portion of the ash. And what I'm going to do is add some concentrated sulfuric acid, which is Ruto drain cleaner that I got at Ace Hardware. And then I'm going to add some hydrogen peroxide, make some piranha solution, and try to dissolve out that carbon. Okay, here I have some 12% hydrogen peroxide that I bought from Sally's Beauty Supply. I'm going to add that to the beaker that has the ash and concentrated sulfuric acid and make some piranha solution. Piranha solution dissolves carbon. It converts it into carbon dioxide and water. This was suggested by one of my viewers to try to get rid of that carbon from the ash and also to possibly remove some of the copper from my precious metals. Piranha solution is normally made by mixing three parts concentrated sulfuric acid with one part 30% hydrogen peroxide but this 12% is all I had so I'm using that. Uh, this is some nasty stuff and will dissolve skin on contact so precautions must be taken to ensure that none of it gets on you. In this shot, I dip a strip of filter paper into the piranha solution. And as you can see, it just dissolves the paper almost instantly. Here I'm adding another shot of 12% hydrogen peroxide. It uh, produces a very vigorous reaction. Not quite sure if this is the right way to go here. I checked the Gold Refining Forum, and on there this stuff has been banned from uh, discussion because it's just too dangerous. So I don't know if this is the correct way to go or not. Well, the piranha solution did dissolve the carbon and it uh, looked like it's put some of the copper in solution, judging by the color there. But I don't know how to get that solid material out of there. It'll just dissolve the paper filters that I have. I could use uh, some glass filters, but I don't have any. When I stuck the paper in there to get a Stannis test, it just kind of, the paper went to a jelly like consistency and just dissolved the stuff dissolves organic material very rapidly okay I've uh, added the piranha solution and you can see down at the bottom there there's some black material in the bottom of that beaker I don't know if that's on metal or not I'm not sure here I'm this is brand new to me not sure what I've got here. I know I can't filter this out because it'll just dissolve the filter. There you can see some of the black material down at the bottom of the beaker. Not sure if that's on metal or what that is. I don't know if this is the way to go or not. I put some status on that uh, paper and I think I see a little bit of orange going on in there. So it might be putting something in solution here, some metals in solution. And then once I get that, I don't know how to get it out of there. All right, I started out with about 10 ml of sulfuric acid in there. I've added a whole bunch of the uh, hydrogen peroxide. I don't know how much I put in there, but uh, if I add some more, I notice that nothing happens now. So the reaction must have uh, completely ate up all the chemicals in there. All right, I'm going to put the uh, beaker up here on the heat. We'll add some heat to it and see if that does anything. All 
our piranha solution with our ash is here simmering on low heat. I'm just going to let it simmer for a while and then we'll get it out and do some more tests with it and see if, uh, see if this is a viable way to go with this. I'm uh, completely at a loss here. This is all brand new to me. Completely experimental here. Touch more concentrated sulfuric acid here, just a little bit, carefully. I'm gonna add a little bit more hydrogen peroxide here to see if we can uh, get it to do something. about an hour. Go ahead and take it off let it cool down and look at it. Now I'm going to test our piranha solution. See if I got metals going in solution. Put some in a spot plate here. Got some status chloride testing solution drops of that in there and as you can see that piranha solution caused some metals to go into solution looks like platinum probably some palladium with it okay just to see if we got uh, copper going into solution I'm gonna put a little bit of the solution in another spot here I've got some ammonia 10% ammonia and if it's got copper in it it should turn blue definitely turns blue so I did put some copper in solution there okay I'm gonna commit this solution to my stock pot I don't think it'll cause a problem there but the solids I'm gonna go ahead and just empty right into my uh, waste treatment the video right here. I don't think the piranha solution is the way to go here. I uh, went on the goldrefiningforum.com uh, and checked there and that's where I learned just about everything I know about refining precious metals other than my uh, trial and error experiments that you folks have watched me do on video. And on that forum uh, the topic of piranha solution has been banned and uh, I think that's a good thing uh, this stuff is very dangerous the people on the gold refining forum are professional refiners they know what they're doing and so if they're not going to be using it it's probably not a good idea for Shri tips to be using it so we'll conclude the video right here in part what is this part 11 in part 12, what I'm going to do is treat those ashes with hot aqua regia and extract the metals out of them. And then uh, what I'll do is proceed from there. This will conclude part 11 of the series. Thanks for watching.